Hello YouTube, St. Bob here of St. Bob's YouTube channel. Uh, I'm here with another uh, tutorial uh, for the Zion community. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial on the UI. It's going to be a very basic to, uh, tutorial just to explain a few elements of the UI, uh, what certain things do, what certain things mean. Um, and it's going to be for um, the basic, basic player. Um, and I don't mean that as a derogative term, I mean basically somebody who's either very 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 new to MMOs um, who's never done MMOs before or somebody who really is struggling with uh, finding out uh, how to actually uh, use the UI um, and basically how to, to use certain items in, in, in the UI. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and basically explain every single feature that's on the um, on the actual UI itself including the chat box. Um, so we'll start with the chat box first the chat box for all the people that have not played MMOs before um, are th is this here, this uh, area here. Now what you need to do is press enter and you can chat. And there we go, I'm just saying hello to Global. Um, now there are a few commands that you might want to know for future reference. Um, first off to actually talk in Global which is the whole entire world of Zion. And then what you want to do is press enter slash that's forward slash and Y and that will automatically change where it says global um, to any sort of chat uh, that you've decided to talk into so for example another command that you can use is slash S and that will change it to general which is in the local area um, and basically that is for um, anybody that, that's around you quite locally in, in, in a few grids and before you ask what grids are I will go into that uh, a bit later on in the tutorial um, but basically the whole entire game is built up of grids and you're in one grid and I think every surrounding grid around the grid that you're in will actually hear your message in the general chat another one to use is slash T which is the tribe chat which is uh, guild chat or clan chat for people uh, who are used to other games um, that basically is all you need to know in terms of uh, of those commands there are other commands that you can use but I don't want to go into them because there are tons and that probably just take up one tutorial video on its own um, so um, I guess you can experiment with uh, with slash commands as you uh, come into the game so that's basically it. The next cool feature that I want to uh, quickly run over is this line of little icons here. These are emotes. Um, these are basically animations that you can make your character perform. Um, so if you click on any of these and they will do certain things. So that's uh, thumbs up and it also makes uh, a cool uh, noise as well which is really cool. And my favourite, personal favourite, is this one. there you go cool sound effect cool animation and I like the fact that she's praying to whichever god um, she believes in which in this case is me because I am the controller I am the player so she should be worshi uh, worshipping me god damn it um, so yeah that's the emote system done um, it's basically pretty simple there's, a, there's an arrow here that you can click on and that will show you a little bit more um, certain uh, emotes that you can play so moving on then, uh, here you go on the uh, bottom UI uh, box here which is where all the controls are for for the game and what you can do in the game. Um, I'm going to explain what these bars are very briefly and what they do uh, and then we'll move on to the uh, hotkeys and all these little uh, icons here. So first of all then, uh, this bar here uh, which is, uh, you can see the plus side uh, the plus sign, sorry, uh, my bad English, um, and also uh, you see that obviously represents um, health, first aid, which is obviously your health. Now what you can do with that um, is basically not die. Um, what you do, uh, when the bar gets down to zero, or in fact it goes to empty, it'll scroll from right to left. Uh, once that goes to empty, you will die, you will spawn as a ghost, you can walk around for 30 seconds uh, at this moment in time in, in the beta um, and then you can obviously respawn, you'll, you'll get a message that says you're allowed to respawn. Um, the next bar down is Faith. Faith hasn't been introduced into the game as yet, I know it is a feature that is definitely coming in because obviously there's a bar there for it um, and that is basically your religion. 
Now I don't want to go into too much about that because my, myself I'm not 100% sure on what that's going to entail um, but when it when it does come out um, and I know a lot more about it then I will do a tutorial on that as well um, I'll actually dedicate a tutorial video just specifically for Faith because I'm assuming that's going to be a quite complicated uh, uh, feature uh, next is energy. Now energy is um, basically the energy that you have to actually do things in the world with your character. Um, so things such as walking, running, sprinting, swimming, um, creating items, um, actually picking items from the ground, things like logging, things like scavenging, things like um, picking up grass, anything that you do that is um, classed as something that's physical, you will uh, lose energy and basically that will go from fully green all the way down to empty from right to left now a couple of key notes to know whilst your energy bar is full so from right from full to half energy you can actually sprint by using the X button the X key on your keyboard um, now to do that basically you want to press your WASD keys uh, to move in which direction you want to uh, and then press X, hold it down, and you will actually sprint. Now I'm going to quickly do it now, and you can see that as my bar actually goes down to half, uh, when it reaches half, my character will actually um, stop running and uh, stop sprinting. Sorry, and start running. Here we go. Should stop right about now. There we go. Automatically stops. Now I can press X all I want, and it's not going to do anything. It's just going to keep running. Um, now to actually walk, uh, then you want to press R, just press it once and you will automatically start walking instead of running and press R again and you'll start running again. To auto run, just press T and you'll auto run in the direction that your mouse uh, and screen is facing and you can use your mouse to move your, your character around instead of you using your WASD keys. Uh, again you can use X um, whilst auto running as well, which is uh, quite cool. Uh, you get you do have to hold the X button down. You can't just press X and expect it to sprint auto run. It it doesn't do that. Um, so a few things that will um, well an extra thing that I need to mention about the energy the the more encumbrance you have, which is weight, which is what you're carrying on your person as a character in your bags in your inventory, um, that will actually affect your energy. So the more you're carrying, the quicker your energy depletes as you uh, run sprint and do other actions so you really need to keep an eye on your encumbrance um, and obviously keep an eye on energy as well when your energy runs down to zero you will actually stop your character will stop and she or he will bend over and pant and take huge big deeps of breath because well the tune's out of breath and so you have to wait about 10 or 15 seconds before you can actually do anything with your character um, so to avoid going down to zero energy what you do need to know is if you press the uh, V key on your keyboard you will actually sit down and you will gain energy back quicker whilst sitting down than standing up. Uh, one other point to note is you can press the, uh, the letter B on your keyboard this will allow you to actually lay down and what seems to be looking like she's going to sleep um, and that will recover energy back as well. Um, I think I mean, seeing as there are two actions you can do to recover energy, I'm guessing that sitting down is going to recover less energy than actually laying down and sleeping, I would have thought. Uh, I'm not sure if that is any different right now, but I'm assuming that's going to change in the future if it's not already. Um, this bar in the middle here uh, is your experience bar. Now, the experience bar itself, um, it's very you don't it's not like any other MMO game you don't go out and kill players don't ki you don't kill animals and gain experience from doing that what you gain experience for is actually doing skills crafts uh, making items things like that terraforming and, and other such um, physical um, actions in game will actually acquire you experience to gain levels um, I will do a levels tutorial so I'm not going to go into how to level up that kind of thing because um, you know that's, that's, a, that's a video on its own um, so that's basically what that bar is um, underneath okay you have a zone uh, you have a position coordinates uh, which is um, these are your directional 
these first two set of coordinates your directional coordinates and also the third one is I believe your altitude um, so as you go higher you will actually see that it's uh, going up and down um, now the zone, I'll quickly explain the zone uh, there are a couple of maps out there which you can look up, there is no map in game um, but uh, the zones basically um, are relevant to your position in the game um, now what you should really know about the zones is that every single area of the game is in a zone um, and when you're chatting in local chat uh, anybody that's uh, in a zone that's connected to your zone um, will be able to hear you now um, it, it is pretty simple if you if you have a map to hand you can quickly google one or go on to the Zion uh, wiki and you can use that uh, and there's a map on there and you'll be able to see exactly where you are uh, and where you want to be um, so I mean, there isn't really much to know about zones it is pretty self explanatory once you've got a map and you can see where you are um, moving to the right hand side then on these bars we have hunger uh, which is obviously how much food you have inside you uh, as the features explain hopefully you've watched uh, you've seen the features on the website um, the less uh, food you have the thinner your character gets the more you have the fatter your character gets so it, it, that does affect your physical look in game but it also uh, increases um, your energy it doesn't increase how much energy you have but it increases the the run time the um, basically the, the the length of time your energy stays full um, and reduces the time it takes to actually deplete um, so it's quite important that you do at least keep that half and half that's with the food and also the water underneath um, now to get hunger uh, to get food you, you either forage for edible things or you go fishing for fish that you can obviously eat water it's basically going up to the water and drinking the water and it's as simple as that um, comfort I, I don't believe that's been introduced as of yet uh, the comfort is things such as the clothes that you're wearing um, and the environment you're around um, so think of it as basically like a sim uh, from the sims game you have your comfort and the comfort empties or uh, replenishes depending on the certain atmosphere or, or certain environment sorry that your um, character is in and is wearing um, so I won't worry too much about that at the moment it's not in uh, and this is still beta so it's not in just yet um, encumbrance is obviously um, how much weight you're carrying the more you weigh uh, the more you weigh uh, the more you actually hold um, the basically the, the more energy you, you will use as I've explained before and the slower your character will actually become so as you uh, fill the encumbrance bar up you will actually become uh, so slow that you, it's just impossible to do anything um, so it's really important to try and keep that encumbrance as low as possible by depositing your um, items that you're carrying into baskets okay um, I'm going to stop the video right now uh, because it's now at 14 minutes I'll create part two where we'll go through um, the action bars here at the bottom very quickly um, so um, just quick, uh, quick you should be able to, there should be a link at the end of this video just click on that and it should take you straight to uh, part two of this tutorial guys so thank you very much